Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on what, what time you're watching the video and where you're watching the video from. So the day that most um, the class of 2020 has been looking forward to um, is here, but I doubt most people are looking forward to because it's usually that most stre that the most stressful days for you know for anyone who was writing a, a paper last year. Um, because first of all, 2020 was just a year to kind of forget and it's one of those years basically where it was yeah it brought pain it brought stress not just to the class of 2020 but to each and every person around the world um, because it's either you were infected or you were affected you know by the current pandemic that is going on and you know the unfortunate of us who were also infected by what um, the current disease that is going around it was not fun now imagine that stress for the class of 2020 you were trying to write um, you know like your exams in the middle of a pandemic it's something that most people haven't haven't experienced unless you were alive you know like during the the two world wars or the you know the pandemic of 19 uh, of 1918 uh, so I can just only imagine, you know, the stress that some of the metrics that we're going through um, during this year. So, first of all, I just want to say congratulations, you know, to the um, to those um, who passed um, this year, you know, like the final exams last year with flying colors and, you know, who'll be moving into um, high, high education institutions, you know, I did not say university or college, I just said high institution. Um, higher education institutions. Um, I will explain later basically um, what I mean by that. Um, and then, you know, like secondly, I also just want to say, you know, congratulations, you know, um, to those basically after this, the class of, of 20, class of 2020, who will be venturing out, you know, to the field of work or to do whatever, um, what they're passionate about, or, because not everyone wants to go um, to a higher, you know, education institution so people are allowed to have a choice people are allowed to do each and everything um, you know so it's their life and I also just want to wish them good luck to that and then thirdly you know um, you know to those who did not make it um, I always you know I just say <laughs> do not despair you know I know it's hard it's painful you know, there's been this new saying in 2020 that it will end in it will it will end in tears. This time, it does not have to end in tears at all. I mean, um, I always say for me, failure it's almost like you know a a, a clutch in a car, not the kind of clutch that some people know, but a clutch in a car. You know, basically the clutch you know provides it's basically the link between um, your engine and the wheels, basically, and the car. This is just the basic terms. Um, engineers, please don't come for me. I'm just explaining now in like layman terms. And basically, so when you depress the clutch pedal, so what happens is that now the clutch kind of disengages, um, uh, what you call, the, the, sorry, the gearbox from the engine itself. So that's basically what I take failure is. It's just, it's just that pause, but basically you're gonna go back to what you were doing in, um, even better now than you were before. Um, oh, another second, um, what you call, analogy that I always use when it comes to, I hate using the word failure because it's not failure. Um, basically, everyone here is running a marathon of their own. And so it's like, imagine that you're trying to cross a river, right? You want to go from point A to point B. And, you know, like we always wish that we can go in a straight line. So sometimes there's not like a straight bridge, there's like stepping stones. So you can step on that stone and then you would slip, you fall. Um, depending on the current, sometimes the current is not strong, you can just easily get up, but obviously you're not gonna step back on that um, rock that made you fall. You're gonna find a steadier one and then you can cross the river. If the current is too high, the river might take you down a bit. But at the end of the day, little by little, you will swim um, closer to the other end of the river and this is basically what is currently happening now if you did not make it 
it just doesn't mean that whoa everything ends here it just means that oh there's like a uh you know like the journey basically there's been a slight pause somewhere somehow so all you need now is just you know get up stand up dust off you know get the dust off your shoulders <laughs> this is does not look good when you're old no i'm not that old i'm young oh. anyway yeah but basically you just you know take the dust off your shoulders and then you just continue forward you know um that's basically what the analogy is for now.